Rolling Stone magazine went from music to just commie trash, hippie, dope, commie crap. But Rolling Stone reliably gave an upbeat view of everything except when they wanted to call Trump Hitler, which they did a lot. Uh, We are so screwed. Democrats churn out increasingly desperate ideas to dump Biden. Maybe Obama will save us as a Democratic lawmaker. Expressing all right, first of all, why the all right? I'm I'm not going to say the F word. Why does his name keep coming up? Him and Hillary, they have been out of the system for a while. They need to be permanently severed from this government. Could they possibly be in control of things behind the curtain? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. I mean, we've heard this before. Yeah. Listen, I was not enthused about obama at all yeah no really yeah what why well because his wife has a penis in my opinion and phyllis diller called it out and then she mysteriously died that's true but she was old though she was old we will give her that we go we go for that So I'm not, I'm not saying that one led to the other. I'm just, you know, it's just a coincidence. It's kind of like the 90 some odd people on the Hillary death list. I believe the number is officially at 57. Well, there's, there's suspect, there's suspected deaths too. Yes. I think it's way up there. I agree. I agree. So top Democrats, including elected officials, political operatives, and major party donors want President Joe Biden to step aside immediately. Many of them say for a candidate who can more effectively make the case against Donald Trump and also project the ability to do the hardest job on the planet. The problem is none of them know how to turn this dream into reality, and none of these Democratic Party players or bigwigs know how they would successfully pressure a famously stubborn Biden into early retirement. Let's pick that paragraph apart really quick. There are factions in the Democratic Party, just as we talked about in the beginning, who were fighting one another. Yes. There's the super rich donors. Somebody looked up Fuzzy Door Productions, by the way, and talked us a little loot on that. It's Seth MacFarlane's production company. Really? It's like American Dad and all of that stuff. Ah. Um, So, yeah, the factional infighting is going on, and there aren't enough votes on one side or the other to successfully prosecute uh to get them out the action yeah. of listen i i on. hope listen they installed the dictator in chief let them ride him all the way to november and take their ass beating i would love to see that there is a dark horse possibility here usually a dark horse refers to a candidate i'm using it in this case to refer to a non-candidate i see the possibility that democrats are, which because we're a hundred days from the election. Yeah, well, I mean that's danger close. It is, da- it is danger close. Danger close is bad. Never call danger close. Yeah. Oof. Um, the Democrats could possibly continue this infighting to the point where they sabotage their own campaign, and Trump effectively runs against no candidate at all because they can't get their poop in a group. Well, it, that's what it looks like now. Yeah. That, uh, I don't, it looks like that's what's happening. Well, here's the thing: is whoever decided to run Biden wasn't really thinking it through, mm. and I think that's to our advantage. All right, I yeah. think they made a, a a bonsai mistake by you know inserting the dictator in chief into the into the equation. We got to see exactly what's behind the curtain, what they're trying to do to this country. And we got to see them weaponize the system against a former sitting president based on bullshit. I have a theory here. I have I have a theory here. Trump won in twenty sixteen against Hillary. Hillary. They were rigging the elections during that campaign, but failed to account for Trump's enormous success. He landslided through that. Now they had all of the machinery to get Hillary elected. Here comes twenty twenty, and they're like, Oh my god, the only candidate we have is Biden. But we still have all of this machinery here. And they did it, and it worked, and they stole the election. And they're like, oh, now we're stuck with Biden. Yep. Because the Democrats often repeat their own mistakes. They do. Well, they're, well you, listen, you, you understand how villains work, right? 
all the Hollywood villains always have these stupid fucking plans yeah. and they make the same mistakes over and over again. Strapping James Bond to a table with a laser beam. Yeah. What could go wrong? Could go wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. But um, there was that uh, famous quote from an aide that said uh, that Obama made the quote, uh, don't underestimate Joe's ability to fuck things up. That's true. I remember that quote. That would be Obama. And uh, was there was... Okay. Yeah. There was also a, another revelation coming out uh, earlier today I saw on Twitter. Take it with a grain of salt. The uh, former stenographer for Obama, or one of the guys said, that Joe Biden was blackmailing Obama to, re to reveal his secret gay escapades. Now, now listen. All right. I don't give a shit if he was gay. I could care less. I could care yeah, less. Yeah, neither do I. I really do. I really do. But in my opinion, from what I've seen, I don't think he was eligible to be the president. I agree. Yeah, okay. I agree. I got that PDF off of the White House's website. They put a PDF up there that was ostensibly Barack Obama's birth certificate, and I took that PDF and brought it into, well, a PDF cruncher machine thing. And it was comprised of layers, and it was not Barack Obama's birth certificate. Yeah. Yep. He was uh, born in a hospital in Hawaii that has not been built yet. Well, you know what? Well, the the well, doctor, the, the rumors White said. House itself put up there, touting as his birth certificate was not his birth certificate. Well, how do you account for that, given that it's coming from the White House itself? You don't even have to go that far, Jimmy. You're you're correct. You're one hundred and ten percent correct, but you don't even have to go that far. Yeah, but my thing is this: is you know it's totally corrupt when they're pushing people into office who technically, by our own Supreme Court, are not eligible to hold the office, yes. and nobody is doing jack shit about it. Yes, that we need to enforce that. And another thing I would like to see brought into law is if you are going to work in the government in any level, you need to be strictly a United States citizen. We've you been a country long enough that there is no excuse for anybody to not be a United States citizen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Or guess the what? dual citizenship you people. Need, you need three generations. Okay. Grandparents, parents, you. To be reasonably considered for office and i believe just personal belief that for anything congress and above and that includes appointing cabinet members you need to be four generations steve we've been america long enough that your great grandparents your grandparents your parents and you could all have been born here as american citizens okay in order to hold those offices, you can't have these external loyalties. And you're right, the dual citizenship thing. Yeah. You can't have external loyalties to a country that was made out of a fucking box of pop Listen, I'm telling you right now, if I was running the show, everyone with a dual citizenship, they would get a phone call, box up your desk, you're done. Get out. Yep. All the, way, your, all the way out, by the way. Yeah, we're revoking your security clearance. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Yes. Because we have this huge mess going on because we have people from outside this country influencing our fucking government to the point we're going to have a two-way fucking rifle range, which shouldn't fucking happen. God damn it. You're swearing a lot again. I know. Yep. I'm really bad. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> to continue on with that, if a leader of a foreign country, you know, I'm just going to throw one out there. Uh, you know, I will just say Somalia for no reason. If uh, that president is, uh, you know, praising one person in Congress for saying, oh, yeah, they are the voice of Somalia. And yet they are in a United States government. You guys can probably uh, connect the dots on who I'm talking about. No, Jimmy, I need you to explain it all for me. Yes, of course, I know what you're talking about here. <laughs> 
So we are so screwed, one senior Democrat state official in a key swing state vented in Rolling Stone just hours after Thursday night's presidential debate ended. Team Biden had advocated for the CNN event, the first 2024 in-person forum between Biden and former President Trump, banking on an expectations-defying performance that would not only best Trump, but move a presidential race that had been remained that had remained nerve-fryingly close to the polls for months now. Instead, they got a Biden performance that was widely and furiously panned within the upper crust of his own party. Less than an hour into the televised debate, an array of Democratic lawmakers and allies on Capitol Hill were already texting and calling one another, pitching different Hail Mary ideas for how to get Biden to step aside and let Camelto Harris (laughs) face Trump. (laughs) In the November election. Yep. As one Democrat strategist put it, Thursday's debate was slightly better than Apollo getting killed by the Russians in Rocky IV. Well, first of all, like, is that a racist statement? That feels racist to me. I don't, I don't care. That's fine. I wa- I watched that debate, me, and I'm just going to be honest. Um, Dude, we all watched it together. Yeah. It was so fucking painful. It, it literally, and they gave Biden. He had a week to prepare. He was on drugs. They 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 gave him the questions ahead of time. Yes, and he was maybe lucid for fifteen to twenty minutes, and then you watched him just fall a fucking part. I actually, at some points, felt bad for him. I'm done. I am on the done. human level. No, I'm sorry. I'm beyond that with him. Oh no, no, this is I'm I'm beyond that with him myself. If if I feel bad for him at all, it's as I walk him out behind the barn. Yeah. Well, like he, an old mule. Yeah. Well, here's another thing. The our media put out that he's really lucid between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Us grunts, we hear that, we're going noon to two. Yeah. So two. we have a president with the nuclear code button who's lucid for two hours a day. Yeah. Are you out of your Goddamn minds! <laughs> it's going to be one of those shows tonight. <laughs> I, I am not in the mood to get turned into a popsicle death ray kind of thing. I don't want that. Popsicle death ray is the name. I don't want to wake up. Dead. I'm good. We need to start a band called Popsicle Death Ray. Uh, okay, I'm just saying. No. <laughs> I hear you. No, I hear you. I am. I am 110 percent behind like, you. On what that. are we thinking? This is yeah. so serious. Yeah. I, and people are like, well, you know, people should be screaming. There should be millions of people in the street going absolute ape shit yes. over this. There should be a lot of arrests going on right now. Holy crap. There should be a lot of arrests. There should be protests right now. so thick that the country has to shut down. Yeah. One Democratic lawmaker relayed to Rolling Stone on Thursday night that several legislators were already talking quietly about staging an intervention in hopes of landing an alternate nominee by the Democratic National Convention in Chicago this office. This lawmaker, however, conceded what more than a dozen other sources in the party almost also admit for all the fury and intense desire to define no one seems to know how to convince him to bow out and nobody seems to know how to force him out in a way that wouldn't risk tearing the democratic party to shreds uh, the infighting that's what we were talking about listen it's going to get to the point where they're going to start killing people yes they're going to call the three the, uh, the letter agency the best one saya that they specialize in that shit even though they shouldn't and people are going to die And here's Rolling Stone at its best. The intra-party struggle also risks handing the keys to the presidency back to a convicted felon and attempted coup leader who pledged to turn much of the federal government into a weapon of revenge against his enemies and millions of immigrants, for starters. None of that's actually true, but it sure sounds good. I wish he would do that if he got back into office. Well, I I wish he would go on a a pogrom and, and cleanse the traitors and drive all the illegals out. Yes. here's I would love to see him secure the border. Yes. You know, deport the illegals, even the people who are who are born here. But, yeah. And the, listen, you drop out of a crotch here. You're not a citizen. You're out. I would love the, to see that happen. The uh, Democrats made the same mistake that cults of personality always make. They shot their load with Obama and didn't have anybody else waiting in the wings. I did not like Obama. I did not like him. I think he's trash, and I don't think he's American. I don't believe it. But I will say that the man had a certain charisma. 
he oh, yeah. could talk to a crowd. Yeah, so did Hitler. Well, so did Mussolini, so did Stalin, so did Pol Pot. Uh, All of these people have this charisma thing going on. Here's the side. But the Democrats didn't plan past him, is what I'm saying. No, I know. And that's where they are now, and now they're coming off the rails, and they have all of this infighting going on. Now, do you think on camera we could show you you taking the layers off of the birth certificate? Yeah, if I can find it. I think I have it still. Because I I would be interested in seeing that happen. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, I, no, I, have I'm not, to, I have to find it. Okay. There's got to be a copy out there. So can somebody find and me listen, a copy of that? And, there's people out there who are way better at the technical IT stuff than I and Battledorf here. Why other people haven't done that, I have no they idea. Did. A bunch of people did. Oh, they did? We all did. Nobody would listen. Oh, well, let's put it on the show. Fuck it. Yeah. Maybe people will listen now. Um, just to reiterate, I didn't like Obama. Okay. I thought the guy was a traitorous piece of crap. Well, he's not a traitor. He was doing exactly what he had planned on doing the entire time. He was serving other masters and other parties. He was never the president of the United States in true form. He just usurped the office of the president of the United States, in my opinion, but the guy had charisma. He did. Watch Grun speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 PM Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.